The RAP Rangeland production dataset provides satellite-derived data on plant productivity for the entire Western US for nearly four decades. We've created the new RAP Production Explorer to allow rangeland practitioners to pay, take full advantage of this powerful dataset. The Production Explorer has two key functions. First, to evaluate productivity departures from historic averages, and second, to estimate stocking rates on an annual basis. You can explore all of this information interactively within the app, and then with just a few clicks, export an Excel report for any location in the Western US. There's a lot to explore, so let's jump right in. You can visit the Production Explorer at rangelands.app slash production explorer. And when you do, you'll come to this web page. You'll see an app interface that looks like this. And in this about section, you'll get some background information about the rangeland production data set that the application is built upon and the uh, information about this app as well. You can follow these links and get some help information about each of those resources. To get started using the app, you have essentially two tasks. And the first is to define a long-term period of analysis. And so what you're doing here is basically selecting a period for calculating a historic average for production against which you'll compare every subsequent year's production, including the current year. And so if you uh, switch this to 1990 to 2020, it'll calculate an average over that entire period. By default, we leave things for the last 20 years, but that is up to you. The next task will be to import data. And you have two options here. The first is to import a shape file, and the second is to import a wrap biomass CSV. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upload a shapefile. To upload a shapefile, you'll select shapefile, and then you need to upload a zipped shapefile. So you can click browse. And I'm gonna go ahead and load in this Montana allotment here. And when I do, it's going to show an interactive map and the entire uh, shapefile geography. And so here you can see that this shapefile only has one polygon, but if your shapefile has more than one, you'll be able to see all of those. And then you'll simply need to click the polygon that you want to analyze and then click calculate time series. Once the data have been loaded properly, you'll get a notification uh, that says, congratulations, way to go. And then you can go explore the three tabs available for diving deeper into the data. And so we have three tabs, current year production, historical production, and stocking rate. And I'll just go sequentially through each of these. In the current year production tab, you'll see a site summary up at the top with the production through the most recent observation of this current year. Uh, so we can see there's 682 pounds per acre uh, through estimated for this year. And then you'll see some statistics for the long-term average over the period that you've selected, as well as uh, some different departures, both positive and negative, from that long-term average. You can see we're just below uh, average for this location. Um, you'll see a map of your area, and then this ability to export a report. I'll show that momentarily. If you scroll down, you'll see two plots, and these essentially show the same information in slightly different ways. And so you can see that in this 16-day production plot, essentially what this is showing is how much production occurred in the previous 16 days uh, leading up to the date that's listed here. So here we can see an observation, an uh, estimate of 62 pounds per acre of production uh, ending on September 14th. So that's for that entire period from what, like August 29th through September 14th. Now, if we look at the cumulative production, that's all of the production that's occurred throughout the year up through the current date. So we can see that through September 14th, there's been 682 pounds of production. And that matches perfectly with the value that we saw in the site summary. And we can see that we're at about 84% of the long-term average estimated for this year. So that is the 
current year production tab. I'm going to zip over now to the historical production tab. And here we can see how much uh, the average production for the entire year, not just through September uh, 14th. And so on average, this location uh, averages 904 pounds per acre uh, averaged over this entire area. And so here we can see then a plot uh, showing these different kind of levels with our long-term average and some different departures below and above that. And the actual estimates on an annual basis of production. So in 2020, uh, we can see that there is an estimated uh, 1,093 pounds per acre across this, uh, this allotment. And that is 120% of normal. Scroll down a little bit further, and we can see a table depicting essentially the same information as in the plot above. Let's say that you want to be able to save this report for later. You can enter in a, a title here, and you'll need to do that. And so I'm going to type in Billings BLM allotment. And when I click Download Excel Report, it's going to introduce a, a prompt here. And by default, it will name it Production Report. I already had one on my desktop. And when I open this up, you'll see the same information as in the tabs displayed here in this kind of nicely formatted report. And so there are, just as in the application, two tabs here for current year production and historical production. If you want to print these, they are formatted so that they will nicely display on a single sheet. And you can take them into the field or do whatever you will with them. The last feature that I want to show is the stocking rate estimation. And here, you're going to have to provide some information uh, if you want to estimate stocking rates. Uh, you're going to have to provide some information about the grazing operation that you are planning. And so the first thing you'll have to do is uh, type in a uh, land unit name again. So I'm going to again call this Billings BLM allotment. Then it automatically will give you the number of acres uh, based on the shape file that you, that you uploaded. So you're good there. And then uh, you'll need to adjust the, the weight of the animal according to, uh, to, to whatever grazing animal you have. Uh, and then the average intake of that animal. And so by default, we have this set at 3%, which is what the NRCS recommends, but you can adjust that as well. The number of the days the livestock will be grazing on this land unit, I'm going to set it for 180 days. The expected harvest efficiency, uh, so we have set that set at 25%. Um, and then the adjustment factor for slope and distance to water, which is optional. And so this is this uh, bottom adjustment factor is for if you're in an area with a lot of topography or kind of sparse water resources for grazing animals, then you can adjust this accordingly. And so if you click this information icon, you can get some guidance for how to adjust that based on some, some guidance from the NRCS. Similarly, for the expected harvest efficiency, you can get some, some information as well. I'm going to just go ahead and click Calculate Stocking Rate. And you'll see, again, a nice report will pop up with here some summary information. Uh, you can see a plot here of estimated stocking rates through time for this location. In this section, we're going kind of under the hood to demonstrate the, the math that's happening to get from uh, production and acres in the field all the way through to suggested number of head and uh, suggested acres per head. And so this is showing, demonstrating an average. You know, this is the average uh, production. But we do essentially the same calculation annually uh, is how we're arriving at each of these values for stocking. Finally, we have a table depicting um, all of the information here. Uh, so year, annual production, how much of that production has been perennial versus annual plants, estimated stocking rates, 
and estimated acres per animal. So you can really dive in here. One thing I want to point out is uh, you can adjust these on the fly. So let's say, well, I want to set this to 120 days. You can do so, and all of these estimates will update as you do so. You can also go back to this main tab, upload your data, and let's say you want to see a 30-year average, 1991 through 2020. All of these plots and values will update on the fly, and, uh, and the reports will update as well. So you can also generate a report for the stocking rates. And so if I click download report, I have one of these on my desktop too. So I'm just going to save it over the top of that. And when I open this up, you'll see a nicely formatted report with all of the same information that we saw in the app. And if you do want to print this, oh, I've got to enable editing. If you do want to print this, it again will nicely format it on a single page, uh, front, uh, sorry, a single page front and back. And so I think that's uh, all I wanted to share with you today. This is obviously a brand new app. And so feel free to reach out to us with uh, comments or questions. I mentioned our help site. If you go over there and you're not finding what you're looking for, you can always click the contact button and uh, shoot these emails go directly to me and I'm happy to help. So with that, thank you for your time and hope this app is very productive for you.